Is he? Is he proper like? Mm -hmm. Yo, it's him. It's, it's, it's him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, so we remember lovely. you. Yeah, lovely meeting you, and please let yeah. us make the best out of it. So, okay. Uh, what was your funniest moment on set? <laughs> <laughs> we had some great time we'll shooting this movie. You know, we were just making each other laugh, and like you know, and uh, you know, we all got to beat on Brad for a bit, I smash his face through a plain glass window. You yeah. know, that was a good laugh. I, there was a lot of there were a lot of fun moments on set. One in particular for me. Uh, there's a scene with me and Brad fighting where, you know, he has the gun under the table and I pull his arm and have to smash his head on the table. And so I would always fake, fake him out about like whether or not it was time for him to smash his head. So he just had to smash his head over and over again until we actually like, got it right. And I was messing it up on purpose because it was really funny to watch. <laughs> Okay, and so how many cuts and fuzzles did you get? Because there's so much physical action in the movie. We all got a bit bad. We all, yeah. we all earned our, uh, you know, you know, our war, war wounds. War, our war wounds. Yeah. You know, that was good. But you knew you were gonna. You knew what you were signing up for. You kind of knew that you were gonna kind of get your David Leach scar. You know, like mm -hmm. you wanted that because we all wanted to get in there and really do. The stunts, because they were so creative and so fun, David Leach is like one of the most creative stunt choreographers I've ever seen, and the way that he captures it is even better. So I was like, I'm not gonna have somebody else step in there and do do this when I wanna do it. So, and and that meant that we would probably get hurt. So like, it was, it was fun, uh, it was challenging, but at the end of the day, like, it looked awesome. That's all we really cared about, is if it looked really cool. What was maybe the hardest day on set? Because, uh do you know what? We had we had we had to kind of listen. It was a. It was it outside the walls. It was it was everyday yeah. living was really kind of hard. We shot this in a pandemic before yeah. vaccines. It was like you know we'd just been in a year and a half, kind of not really being able to move in lockdown, no travel, nothing. So we was all quite in the same sort of place. There's a dark cloud above our head. So going to work felt so uh, refreshing yeah. and new, and like be able to like be lucky enough to go to work and be making a movie that we all want to be a part of. And then, so we just kind of wanted them, it was it was, it was was a therapy that we all yeah. needed in the release. So we just wanted to make each other laugh. So every day was just a great day of just like, you know, you never really knew what you was going to expect, especially because yeah. we took these sort of, we did a lot of improvisation and improv. So that was kind of fun. We, we, you know, we were coming in and sometimes I know for myself, I felt kind of guilty about how much fun I was having because right. at the end of the day, you're driving home and you're like, oh right, your mask has to go on. Oh right, you have to like lock back down and then you go. Uh, but I think that that was the great thing about this ensemble is that we held each other up the minute that we got there. The environment was just so uh, gracious and kind and, and everyone took care of one another, which was really great. And you don't really get that on a lot of productions. And I, I hope that that trend continues in movie making, honestly. I hope that that's the way of right. the future because like the right. end result was, was this. And so, you know, I, that's the only way I want to make my movies from mm -hmm. now on. You know, like it was, it was truly a family unit. When you watch that movie for the first time, so what was your imagination, your impression? Because for me, it was a fun ride this morning. Yeah. I just laughed out loud. I laughed so hard, I almost like pissed my pants and got a stitch. <laughs> like, I did not expect the level of like, you yeah. know, what they would have kept as well. I love yeah. that David, you know, allowed us in the first place to really like, improv and play with our characters, but it, a lot of it stayed in and that was amazing. And to also see the stuff like, that Joey and Andrew Koji had done because because we was in that lockdown, those two went off to shoot their thing on different days and we weren't around. So it was amazing to see all these characters come together. I loved the yeah. movie, I thought it was brilliant. Yeah, same.